Hey guys, Sharni here with Great Expectations Realty. I am here in Lake Diamond by DR Horton. And um, let me show you guys before I get started with my video. Uh, see this home right here is available for sale. It's available right now. So if I have a buyer who's interested in a two-story, please, please let me know. And I would love to be your agent. And there are a lot of homes as well that they are building. A lot of them will be available soon um, and they are at a reduced price as well so look how beautiful it is it is a really cool day and it's sunny so it's like the best of both worlds the sky is blue everything is beautiful but I just wanted to show you guys this before I get into my video all right let's get to it Anyway, maybe after this video, I'll do a, um, a tour for this um, two-story house. I'm sure that's not going to last long um, because they have uh, some price reductions on the houses here. And this one is available right now. So that's really rare at this moment. Um, so maybe the sale fell through with the last person and then now it's available. Um, but the reason... I'm doing this video today is to talk a little bit to sellers and seller agents um, about something that uh, happened to me the other day. But before I um, say too much, let me say what I'm about to say doesn't represent Ocala at all. This is not something that happens very often because I live here, so I, uh, you know, my experience has been different. But everywhere you go, every now and then, you'll meet someone like that that will do something that make you go hmm should you have said that <laughs> so i went to do this um showing the other day and um it was a virtual showing so i got there the seller when she opens the door um first thing she asked me oh are you one of those california people and i i was taken aback because that's the first thing she told me oh you're from california too huh so I was like, uh, no, I'm not from California, but <laughs> anyway, but I think she ended up asking me where I'm from, whatever. And I ended up telling her I'm from the Caribbean. And, and then she proceeded to tell me that she wanted to give me uh, a tour, you know, of the house before I did the tour. So I'm like, okay, that's not unusual. She showed me everything and everything like that. But she kept talking. She wouldn't stop talking. And at some point... I told her I'm very patient and I like conversation so um, <laughs> at some point I told her well you know I'm gonna start the video now I'll go back outside so I can like, then you know start my video and then go inside so she didn't leave the house typically sellers they would leave the house to you know like go outside or something so you can show the home but she didn't so i was like okay i have to respect that you know it's her house or whatever so i was in the middle of doing the um the showing and she started talking to me she started talking to me and i was like in the middle of making comments for my buyer about the kitchen area and the potential of the house if they want to make it bigger etc 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 and she started talking to me in the middle of it you know <laughs> don't do that <laughs> you know what i mean because i'm trying to do a showing and i'm you know i'm the agent after all for the buyer and that was like distracting you know but then that's not the worst of it after the showing, uh, she ended up finding out that I'm from the Caribbean. I didn't tell her exactly where I'm from. I didn't feel like doing that um, for no reason. I just, I just told her I'm from the islands. And um, she proceeded to tell me how um, she has a lot of island people at a church and apparently she can't stand them. And she went on a whole big rant about island people and how this is america this is the united states of america and they come here they don't leave their island ways and their island stuff back where they're from and they come here with all of those stuff and this is america you have to let me tell you it got worse and worse and worse and i and i stood there and 
and listen because she wouldn't stop talking and then I don't want to be rude even though in my opinion she was rude to me because <laughs> you know and and then she ended up telling me about you know she's a seventh day you know it's bad that I go to church on a Sunday and I'm thinking is this real life right now but anyway I'm making this video because I want to I don't know maybe sellers when when you're having your consultation with your buyer with your sellers seller agents when you're having your consultation with your sellers kind of go over things like that with them for example us in in the brokerage in our brokerage um, great expectations realty we are trained to tell our buyers um, when you're taking photos of the property you shouldn't have certain flags that may be offensive to some people you shouldn't have you know certain things on the wall and whatever you think may be uh, offensive for someone is better that you remove it and and we have a lot of other um, tips that we give sellers uh, when you're buying your home how to make it appealing for everybody and I think it's great that we um, have that list that we give our sellers and I believe Andrea my broker my awesome broker she's done that video and i believe i've repeated that video myself um on those tips but another tip should definitely be telling sellers to watch what they speak about what they talk about because i mean that seller she didn't care that she you know could possibly hurt my feelings but thank god my feelings are not hurt very easily it would take a whole lot more and that's her opinions and you know what they say about opinions everybody has one so i i you know i couldn't care less um but some other agent may have had the perfect buyer for her and she would blow it because some agents would just stop right there and just get out and don't care about the commission and leave i mean the kind of stuff she said were like pretty offensive but she thought she was funny for some reason she's an older lady and and she thought she was funny saying the things that she said so you know it's just uh, an advice i guess um talk to your seller let them know what you know not to share certain things that they believe in we can't help to um we can't help but have certain views about certain things or whatever you know people are who they are but if you're trying to sell a house try not to you know say certain things while someone is trying to show your home anyway that's what i wanted to say and as you can see all of these homes back there all of these are new built right inside Lake Diamond. A lot of them are uh, at a reduced price right now. So if you're looking for a home and you want me as your agent, let me know. And in here in this community, um, the HO is about 40 bucks per month. And there, there are no amenities, but it's a beautiful, beautiful community. It's on a golf course. And um, the builder is still giving uh, up to ten thousand dollars towards your closing costs so it's awesome look at that all of these are brand new homes and i'm pretty sure a lot of them are available so if you're looking let me know and i would be more than happy to get you uh started with the with the whole process and get you into your home for 2022 all right well i'll talk to you guys later